continue with 9.3 application of differentiation in economics and business. So let's see the relationship between cost, revenue and profit. Firstly, let's define cost, average cost, marginal cost and minimum cost. So here we have cost. If X is the number of units of a product produced in some time interval, then CX is the cost function which is the total cost to produce X units of product. The total cost consists of the fixed cost and the variable cost. So here we have the function CX. CX equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. The fixed cost is the cost incurred when no unit of product is produced. So that means when X equals to 0. So C0 equals to fixed cost. Actually, what is the fixed cost? For example, we have electrical bills. The company still need to pay monthly bill even if the production is shut down. So the electrical bills for the company is the fixed cost. The variable cost is the cost affected by the things in order to produce the product. Next, let's look at the definition of the average cost. So average cost is C bar X equals to CX over X. The average cost is the cost to produce one unit of product. Marginal cost we denote by C prime X, which is equals to the derivative of CX, which is DCX over DX. That means you need to differentiate the cost function. It is defined as the marginal cost can be interpreted as the extra cost incurred by a firm or company as an extra unit of output is produced at production level of X units. Then we also have minimum cost by using second derivative test. So to minimize the cost at the level of production X0, the following conditions must be satisfied. So you need to remember that every company must aim to minimize the cost. So the company must follow the following condition, which is C prime X not equal to zero. This is to find the production level. And then the company must follow the condition C double prime X not is greater than zero. That means the second derivative of the cost function is greater than zero. If you remember from the last lecture, if we get the second derivative at the stationary point greater than zero, it means that you will have the smiley face. So smiley face shows that the stationary point is minimum. So it follows the minimizing the cost function. So next, the minimum cost is given by CX0. Example 5, given the cost function Cx equals to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x, find the average cost and marginal cost function. The formula for average cost is cost function divided with quantity. In this case, the quantity is x. So, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x divided with x. Uh, each term divide with x, uh, so you will get 2x square minus 3x minus 12. Uh, for the second one, the marginal cost function, we differentiate the cost function. So you will get 6x square minus 6x minus 12. Example 6, a television manufacturer produces X set per week so that the total cost of production is CX equals to X cubed 
minus 195x square plus 6600x plus 15,000. Find how many television sets must be manufactured per week to minimize the total cost. To minimize the total cost, first we have to find the marginal cost function. C prime equals to Okay, we differentiate the cost function. 3x square minus 390x plus 6,600. We equate the C prime x, the marginal cost function, with 0. To find the value of x, we can simplify the quadratic equation. Divide all with 3. Uh, factorize the equation. So, you will get x minus 110. Multiply with x minus 20. Your x is 110 and 20. Uh, then we find the second order derivative to test the value. C double prime x equals to 6x minus 390. First substitute x equals to 110. C double prime 110 is equals to 6 times 110 minus 390. So, equals to 270. The value is positive. So, there is a minimum. Substitute x equals to 20 into second order. So, we'll get 6 times 20 minus 390. Equals to negative 270. The value is negative, so it is a maximum. Write the conclusion. Therefore, 110 television sets must be manufactured per week to minimize the cost.